Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is Dave, a.k.a. Daffy of the No Compromise Media. And I am here with a couple of queen, queens, young queens, you know what I'm saying? They're here. Uh, uh, I'll let them introduce themselves, but I got a couple of young queens, and we would get into a couple of questions, and we are hitting the streets. We are hitting the streets. Would you rather work for someone else or own your own business? Own your own business? Honestly, I'd rather work for myself. Really? Mm-hmm. Work, work for myself. For yourself? My own business. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On your own business, y'all. Why? Why would you rather? Why would you rather work for your? So, and what about the answer you gave? Own your own business. Oh, oh, both of them own their own business. Why? Because I don't like people telling me what to do. Because I'm independent woman and I like to work for myself. Preach. If you had a chance to either own your own business or work for someone else, what would you rather do? Own your own business. It's just better that way. You don't got nobody bossing around. You make your own work out. You make your own uh, job hours. You don't got nobody telling you what to do. I would want to like work for someone until you're able to start your own business. Okay. 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 So you would work for someone until you can start your own business. Okay. What does to you, to you, what does miseducation mean to you? Miseducation. I feel like miseducation. <laughs> I feel like miseducation means like not being educated on something or just anything. I have to say the same answer as Alani. It just not getting well educated and that we just need to be more educated you know yeah (laughs) what is miseducation to you what does that mean miseducation to me miseducation is when people not even just children but people are being taught the wrong things I think mixed education is like the people that's teaching you not that they don't have the ability to teach you the right thing they choose not to teach you the right things Mm. Okay, okay. Do you think that there's a big sense of miseducation happening in school? Yeah, we're being taught the wrong thing. I feel like certain teachers, not all teachers. Okay. Just, a lot of the times in social studies, we're being taught the wrong things. Why, why in social studies? Because in social studies, it's like a lot of history that they're teaching, some of the history that they teach is wrong. What makes it wrong? What? What makes the what makes the, the the history that they teach wrong? Because it's not it's not what actually happened. Okay. How much of Black history did you guys learn in school this year? None. To be honest, not really. Like the only time you learn about Black history is during Black History Month. That's I didn't it. Learn about Black history month. Well, there you go. Why do you think that is? Why? Why is it that we don't learn anything about black history throughout the whole school year? Because I feel like certain people just don't want us to know about our history and they want to just keep it like hidden from us. That's true, just because we don't really learn about our own history and more like other people's history and how we evolved as humans. And I think it's really important that we should learn about it, so. How much black history have you learned this year in school? Uh, not as much as I would want to. We learned mostly about just like Africa's economy, not really black history. You learned about Africa's economy? Yeah, yeah stuff like that. Okay. What about yourself? Well, I mean, we take the same classes, so I learned the same stuff. Oh, yeah, I take the same classes? Yeah. Okay, so you learning the same... You learning the same stuff. Okay. What does it mean to you to be black in America? Especially as a, as a young lady. <laughs> so it means to be free and independent, just doing your own thing and not letting anyone stop you. Honestly, I feel like I mean black girl magic. And yeah. like, you know, like, I'm just like, I'm serious. Like, like that's like what I live by, like, just black girl magic and having that sparkle that other people don't have. What is black girl magic? Black girl magic? It's literally... Everything, like anything, yeah. anything you accomplish, anything, anything successful, anything black that you can do, and anything exactly. that you can do as a woman, as a girl, whatever. Okay, I heard a black. What about black queen magic? Does that fit the mold too? Yeah. Of course. 
it's black it's black it's blackness magic. it's blackness do y'all feel like black queens here in america yes yes what about entertainment do you feel like black people are misrepresented in entertainment Yes, most definitely. I feel like they can't. Like I feel like they most definitely are, and in some in some stuff they are, and some stuff they're not. But it depends on who's like doing it. Why do you say it depends on who's doing it? Because, because like if you have someone like the director of like who did Black Panther, he represented black people really well. Versus like if you have someone who's just doing like some other movie, he won't like he or she won't like show the black culture as well as they show the other people's culture. Yes, sometimes they don't get credit for the entertainment industry too, so. What about what about women? Are they misrepresented in entertainment? And that can come down to music, movies, um, any form of entertainment. Do you feel like women themselves, is it a whole different type of thing where you guys are misrepresented? I feel like we are misrepresented misrepresented in what we can do and what we can create just because we're women doesn't mean we're low or below men or anything we're the same equal equal as y'all because we because guess what we can do the same thing as men can do so that's the thing okay i feel like it really depends because some women they just choose to be they what was the word Misrepresented. They choose to be misrepresented and they choose to like not want to be represented good or they'll put themselves out there a certain way and then get mad with someone to like talk about it. So I feel like it really just depends. What about the music videos and hip hop or rap? Hip hop, rap, music videos, R&B videos, um, R&B songs. What about just the music period? Are black people misrepresented, especially black men? I don't really watch like music videos like that, so. Okay. Do you feel like black people are misrepresented in the entertainment business? Yeah. Yes. Uh, and it's some. It's a lot of people that. It's a lot of people that influence that and urge it on. Like Kevin Samuels mis- misinterpreted black people. Most of the times, a lot black women misinterpreted them in the wrong way. Um. I don't. I don't. I don't. Not like really like watching TV that much or watching television, but I would say yes, because how you can see like the billboards and stuff like that, you can see how it's different than what like it's supposed to be, or not what even what it's supposed to be, how black people will like not even just want it, like want it to be fair. I have like when uh, um you go on you go on uh, um I say like YouTube because a lot of people watch YouTube. You see how when people be explaining it, the first thing they say about like um black videos and uh like hip hop and stuff like that is they bring up gang violence, and that's how I feel like that's it. Do you feel like black people here in America are brainwashed? Into feeling, into feeling that they are inferior or less than what they really are. Absolutely. I mean, the schools don't even educate you on your history, so. That's true. I have to say the same thing. If we're not educated by history, well, are we? <laughs> I guess. Really why are we here? Why are we here in the first place? That's really just brainwashing from the start. Do you feel like black people are inferior? No. No. I'm going to throw out a word, and that's the first thing that you say. Right, you tell me what it means to you. Africa. Soil. <laughs> um, continent. Because, like, uh, I, I used to think Africa was a country, and, like, so many people just like to say, so many people just like to um, correct me when I say Africa is a country, it's a continent. Like, now I know that, but I'm just saying, like, I used to think Africa was a country. Is Africa a poor country? No. Or a poor continent? No. It's one of the richest and continents in the world. Well, not even one of them. The richest continent in the world. And some things Africa is, I mean, like, I, I think some of the things that Africa is missing, they could have if we, if they had the right help. Every first word that comes to your mind, I want you to say it. Africa. Land. <laughs> that was like, um, um, rich. Europe. You don't want to know the first thing that came to my mind. 
Um, authority, big authority. Do you think that Africa, the continent, receives a lot of uh, negativity, backlash here in America, or is it always positive? No, negativity. I, I think, yeah, for sure, negativity. I mean, they they put, they make it seem like Africans come to live here because they don't have any money or they don't have anything, and it's like. Especially on the news, they make they make Africa seem like a very poor country, and that's and you can't and make people don't want to visit it. But actually, it's actually is a very nice country in like some well continent in some places. <laughs> Every country has its downfalls, but they just focus more on the downfalls and not like what Africa is really doing good on. It's easier to tear like a place down and like build them up. You say, you say, can you repeat that again? I said it's easier to tear a place down than to like build them up. What are you guys doing for the summer? Oh uh, well, let me tell y'all what I'm doing this summer. Well, we, have, we, we have we have cheer. <laughs> oh yeah, we have cheer in July, and I'm doing the Gwinnett Youth Commission, and meeting every Wednesday where we talk about the government for Gwinnett and see how we can make it better and safer for everyone. What y'all doing for the summer? You practice throughout the summer until school starts. Yeah, we about to go to Florida. What next? Next week or next week, next week for a basketball tournament. How do you feel about the violence with the shootings and school shootings and everything that's been happening in America? How do you guys feel about that? I it, like the more shootings that are happening, it doesn't really make me feel safe at school because you don't know which school is next. Yeah, and I feel like it was. I feel like it was kind of different. Where it's like, oh, like when it's in California, and that's really far away. Versus when it's in Texas, and Texas is like right there next to us. So it makes it like really. It makes it different. It make, like it hit. Like it hit. Like it hit different. How do you feel about the violence that's been happening here in America, as far as the school shootings and all these other shootings that's been happening? Um, the Buffalo shooting that was in New York, like. How do you feel about these this, these violent acts that's been happening? Have y'all heard about the Buffalo shootings in New York? No. No, I heard of a Texas one. It was like a Texas shooting. So you heard about the Texas shooting in Uvalde? That was the one with the children. Yeah. But you haven't heard about the Buffalo shooting? No. The Buffalo shooting is where... Is where um, a, a, a white supremacist, a white terrorist, went and shot up. Uh, it was a supermarket. His specific target oh, was yeah, black. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Mom told me about that. Yeah, specific target that. was black people. He was not targeting anybody else. He wasn't targeting brown people. He wasn't targeting Asian people. He wasn't targeting people of color. He said his specific target was black people. So I just find that it's funny that we hear, and same thing with me. Like we hear about the shootings in Uvalde, but we don't really hear about the shootings that happen in Buffalo. They don't publicize that. They give one over the other. Because the news wants to depopulate black people. That's why they're not really giving much attention to it. They're giving more, they're publicizing that more than they're publicizing the Buffalo shooting. Um, I feel like that uh, a lot of people have been scared to even let their kids come to school and I feel like the kids that died it was happened to be on in that school at the wrong time and I feel like uh, I feel like that if people if people had like more more um, more protection at not even just because like a lot of people just have protection in their high school not even at elementary and middle school so much. So I feel like if they have the same protection in high school and elementary and middle school, a lot of things wouldn't be able to happen. If you can erase racism in one day, what would you do and how would you do it? If you can erase racism, if you can delete it, destroy it, in one day, what would you do and how would you do it? <laughs> I would I would try to get rid of all the racist people. Yeah, you know, basically what she said, just going to the government protesting, be like, like this got to change, y'all. We're we're the same humans, came from the same world, technically. So yeah. When y'all say get rid of the racist people, what do you mean by get rid of? 
Are you insinuating violence? No. Oh, no violence. I'm just saying we should get rid of them. Peace, y'all. We need peace. peace. We want peace. Equality. And that's we're gonna get rid of the racism. You know. You're trying to get to a D1 college, or you trying to, or you trying to go overseas and play? Which are, how, how, how you trying to make it pro? D1 college. <laughs> I am trying to do D1 college. I wanted, like, and my, one of my goals for high school was to get all A's and B's in high school. Did you reach your, are you reaching your goal now with all A's? Yeah. No, not all A's. I got all A's and B's, though. Oh, so A's and B's. You're an A, a and B um, student. Okay. How about yourself, brother? B's. <laughs> okay, B's. All right. Hey, once again, you've been rocking with the No Compromise Media. Again, we're right here in the mall, hitting the streets. Getting words out, questioning our young queens again. Carlisle, Alani, Bonnie. You seen it first? You heard it first. Don't forget to don't forget to follow me on Instagram at alani.bonnie. And y'all already you know Carl underscore Johnson Insta and Carl Johnson on Snap. See y'all later.